this is Lady Boule, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. So I'm just going to hand out some free unsolicited advice to unmarried black people. Y'all need to stay off these reality dating shows because they don't work out for black people. Because black people are on there looking for love and other people are on there looking for an opportunity. So we've seen several of these relationships bite the dust. Most of them don't work out regardless to race, but they really don't work out with black people. Now, if y'all know of a black person that got together with somebody on a reality show and they're still together, let me know. Because most of the time, the black person is going to choose a non-black person, even if there's a black person who seems compatible with them. So if somebody has made it work, let me know. So let me talk about Rachel Lindsay, whom I think is so beautiful. I don't know what she was doing on a dating show looking for a husband in the first place. You have to be careful where you look for a husband. And it still works out better if the husband finds you. This is the beautiful Rachel Lindsay, and she was on a reality show in 2019. I think it's called The Bachelorette or something or other. She was the bachelorette, and she had three or four men to choose from, and she chose a non-black man. They started dating. They got engaged. They got married, and here it is. Less than five years later, they've broken up, and he's trying to shake her down for money. He's a whole doctor. Rachel Lindsay's estranged husband, Brian Abasolo, demands $16,000 in spousal support denies she was shocked to learn of divorce via text. So apparently he told her he wanted a divorce in a text. Oh boy. First black bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay, and her estranged husband, Brian Abasolo, tied the knot in 2019 after meeting and falling in love on the ABC series. See, she was looking for love. He wasn't. However, less than five years, the couple have split and Abbasolo wants his wife to continue supporting him financially. Okay, calling Dr. Umar. That's what he says. These people are not looking for a long-term relationship. These people are looking for a payday. No, I am not saying that is the case for every interracial couple. But you should only go on a reality show for the experience, have a little fun, make a little money, and go back to your regular life. Court documents filed in June by the 44-year-old chiropractor state that he wants to maintain his standard of living, which would require his soon-to-be ex-wife to provide spousal support. In an emergency request for financial assistance, Abbasolo claimed he needs at least $75,000 to cover his legal fees. See, he had already counted her money before he married her. And what it looks like is that he doesn't intend to be out of any money getting rid of her, which is kind of a harsh way to look at it. But how else can you look at it? And we're going to call it the same thing in black women that we call it in black men, self-hatred, because my nieces watch these reality shows. And I believe this was the one that they said that was a really good looking black guy on there. And it seemed like they connected and they were hoping she was going to pick him. Now he could have turned out to be a dud too, but, but she picked the man who was going to hit her straight in the pocketbook. He wrote, I am informed and believe that Rachel has been using our community property monies to pay for her divorce lawyer and forensic accountant while refusing to give me access to any of our community property funds to pay for my divorce lawyer, my forensic accountant, or any of my personal expenses. 
Oh my goodness, these people have a forensic accountant? Really? It sounds like they're going deep into each other's finances. The chiropractor claims he makes only $16,000 a year, which is not enough to support himself. Lindsay says he's lying, claiming that if what he says is true, he would actually be making about the same amount of money as a fast food worker. She further asked the court to deny his alimony request, stating he has an ability and opportunity to generate income which should enable him to support himself. Absolutely. What was he doing before he met her? Brian claims to earn so little income that if he worked a 40-hour week and was paid minimum wage in Los Angeles County, he would more than double his reported earnings, the filing claims. So apparently she's living in Los Angeles and he's living in Canada. I think he's from Canada. And he's saying that he makes so little money in Canada that if he was working in Los Angeles, it would double what he's making even if he was working a minimum wage job. Now I understand why she has a forensic accountant. So a forensic accountant should be able to track down what he makes and verify or refute what he's saying. While the member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated rejects the amount that her husband submitted to the court, she does not deny she has been the one footing the bill in their relationship, okay? According to Lindsay, the two continue to live together in the marital home worth $2.1 million, but she's the only one making sure it does not go into foreclosure. You need to let that house go into foreclosure and start over. That's my advice. And another thing, you don't complain about being in a struggle-love relationship with a black man and then turn around and then end up in a struggle-love relationship with a white man or whatever he is. Since we separated, I have paid 100% of the mortgage, property taxes, homeowners, homeowners insurance, maintenance, maintenance and repairs, utilities, and costs to care for our pets. On Brian's behalf, while he refuses to vacate my home, the attorney turned off the claims, except for paying our gardener and 50% of our housekeeping costs. Brian continues to reside in my house without contributing any funds to the carrying costs. So really, it sounds like it was her house to start with, and he moved in a situation of convenience and doesn't want to move. He don't want to get out. That's the same problem Halle Berry had with her baby daddy. I'm telling you, these folks need to stop. My like, ooh, good. In her filing, Lindsay offered $9,882 a month, which is basically $10,000 a month, which Abasolo dismissed seeking the $16,000 a month plus because he makes less than a McDonald's worker, he claims. The court filing showed Lindsay claim the marital standard of living was nowhere near as glamorous as Brian portrays it to be. In fact, we rarely saw each other or even lived together during our brief marriage. So actually, he just played her. He played her and he played her like a fiddle. And it's really sad. Here's a tweet somebody wrote. Rachel Lindsay met that man on The Bachelorette and married him without a prenup. Sister, you're a whole damn lawyer paying $10,000 a month to a white man. And that's what I say. I mean, really. Now, I'm just going to call it what it is. This is what desperation looks like. She's attractive. She's educated. She's resourceful. And she can't find anybody who could meet her on an equal footing and partner her in a responsible way. The two met in 2017 during season 13 of the reality dating show. Lindsay had been selected as the lead love interest for the show after previously appearing on season 21 of The Bachelor. Abasolo emerged as her final choice, but years after their marriage, he filed for a divorce. Lindsay revealed 
that her husband informed her about his decision via text message, not in person. Well, you know what? She shouldn't have been surprised because really that, that was just a business arrangement for him. I guess he saw her and saw what she had to offer and he decided it's too much money to leave on the table. Approximately 30 minutes after he left the house, he sent me a text message that simply read, Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I officially filed Lindsay 39 claims. Dr. Abbs filed for divorce on January 2nd, citing irreconcilable differences. Lindsay has an estimated net worth of between one and two million dollars, while her estranged husband's net worth reportedly is between one million and one point five million. So see, he's got money. Abbasolo believes Lindsay making a PR stunt of their breakup and divorce due to its public attention and said she was not shocked or surprised by his divorce filing as she claimed. Well, she shouldn't have been shocked because she's the one that should have filed. He was laying up on her, not paying any bills, and just stayed there long enough to file for divorce and get extra income because he'll be getting almost $120,000 a year from her just for spending that time, that little bit of time that he spent with her. He probably has a girlfriend or wife back in Canada, wherever he came from. He just played her, and it's really just that simple. In purported text messages, he confessed to her his inability to communicate, stating, I'm sorry for not replying to your text, but honestly, I don't really want to be on the receiving end of your wordsmithing anymore. He continued, I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I want to regain some aspect of my self-respect back. Wow. He's insinuating that she emasculated him. Abbasolo added that he wanted to avoid any additional friction and demanded the presence of a neutral party in the messages. <laughs> oh, goodness. Fans wondered if race was the difference that he could not reconcile with Lindsay. After all, many wanted her to date and marry a man of color, but many believe he was plotting against her the entire time. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. He's playing chess. As a lawyer, she should have known to legally protect herself, wrote one person in the Neighborhood Talks comment section in regard to the former pair not having a prenup. In disbelief that Abbasolo was in financial distress, one person wrote, so he's a whole doctor and his monthly expenses surpasses his physician's salary and he needs an additional $16,000. Wow, the audacity. A third added, he had this planned since day one. Okay, so you have to factor race into it. It could be. Well, I'm going to end with a shocker. The grass is not greener on the other side of the fence. If you take care of the grass you have, if you fertilize it and water it and cut the weeds out of it, nourish and care for your own grass, and it will be the best looking grass in town. Okay, y'all, have a good day.